what's happening guys Mino here and today we are playing s I mean we're not playing anything today doing my first ever how to video now so I'm gonna show you guys on Photoshop CS6 see here how to blur out the background uh, so basically just click on file and first you need like a picture with the background and the subject so this the thing that you want to stand out so uh, you just got to uh, first of all I need to make <laughs> so you can make a new one so like a thumbnail if you want or you can open I'm going to open and then camera down and here so I've got this dull picture of me and guys it is so simple all you have to do is just go here where it says quick selection tool on the fourth one and if you don't see it and instead it has magic wand tool just right click and then of course click quick selection tool so basically all you have to do is just go like this in the outline of yourself so just do exactly what I'm doing except don't do it with me do it with yourself So we can basically just get all of this. Not just that, we also want the entire chair and the headset. Okay, as you can see, I've made some errors. But all it's very easy to get rid of those, and it's actually very good as well. And you know, I've got it here as well, as you can see. So just you can either you can actually just go like that oh wait I'm actually already on it so if you want to add more you click on this one here it, see it doesn't but if you want to get rid of it you go to this one which I was literally actually just on and then as you can see I just got rid of it but I also want this part here Okay, no, I didn't need to add that, so I get my little piece of hair right there. Eh, anyway, and then also this part here. And just get this little part sticking out. There we go. Now, all you have to do is just right click on the background so here and click select inverse so as you can, as you can see instead of us this whole part is collect uh, is collected is selected so now just um, now it's just pretty simple for me filter blur now actually make sure it's on lens blur not on the other, any other ones I'm not really sure if you click on the other ones but all I know is that I always do lens blur and it always works out so well so just go into that and then you get this I've already done this because I already recorded this and it did not work out so if you as you can see if you go to zero it normal but then just keep going as you can see it starts to fade out I put it at uh, six, about like sixty, around there. So then, okay. Sometimes this will come up. Just wait for it to load, and there. And then just click Control D to deselect, and that is literally it. You can do it for a thumbnail if your phone, if your camera resolution is fine for th is like the perfect size for a thumbnail but mine isn't so what I do is just crop it so like that is good and then I just click yes and there you go you just got a background blurred now if you just put that in okay 
now the finish file save as make sure you save it as png or jpeg actually but i always do png so where is it there it is and then literally but wait let me just save it i all everything is saved to my roblox folder so save okay and then you're done wait come on okay forget that we'll finish in a minute and now you're done you can add text you can add whatever you want and yeah you got your blurred background so hope now because this was my first ever um tutorial i hope you leave a big fat thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel and so yeah more tutorials will be coming soon for photoshop like removing backgrounds removing background is actually like exactly the same process but uh anyway so then yeah okay it's fin finally finished so now you're done hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the